CV-90 Development of the CV-90 commenced in the mid-1980s. The baseline CV-9040 entered service with Sweden in 1993. The CV-90 recommended itself as a successful design. Since its introduction, the basic design was constantly improved and updated. The CV-90 was built in various versions. This the armored vehicle was exported to Denmark, Finland, Netherlands, Norway, and Switzerland. New versions of the CV-90 continue to emerge. The CV-90 has a welded steel armor hull. Applique armor can be added. It is claimed that the front arc of the CV-90 withstands 30mm armor-piercing rounds, used by the older Russian IFVs and airborne combat vehicles. All-round protection is against 14.5mm armor-piercing rounds. Latest versions of the CV-90 withstand blasts equivalent to 10 kilograms of TNT. Applique ceramic armor can be added for all-round protection against 30mm armor-piercing rounds and improved protection against improvised explosive devices. A slat armor can be fitted for protection against tandem charge RPG rounds. The original Swedish CV-9040 is armed with a powerful Bofors 40mm cannon, which is basically a modified anti-aircraft cannon. It can easily defeat pretty much all hostile armored personnel carriers and IFV and also poses threat to older tanks such as the T-55 and T-62. First batch of vehicles for the Swedish Army had no gun stabilization system and thus could not fire accurately on the move. Also these had only limited night fighting capability. Also there is coaxial 7.62mm machine gun. Export models of this infantry fighting vehicle are armed with fully stabilized 30 or 35mm cannons. These guns are less powerful, but more versatile. Also newer CV-90 series IFVs have more modern fire control systems. This IFV was specially designed to minimize radar and infrared signatures. It also uses heat-absorbing filters to provide protection against thermal imaging, image intensifiers and infrared cameras. Vehicle also has quiet movement in order to improve stealth. With preparation this vehicle is amphibious.